Am I the asshole? For pretending to not understand Japanese and making a kid cry? Throw away. For context, I am an English teacher in Japan. I love my job and I absolutely love teaching kids. I've never made a kid cry until today. I have a student, let's call him Sam who's 12. He's the class clown who absolutely loves attention and will do anything to get his classmates to notice him. Now, I have experience with plenty of goofy kids and I adore them. I let them joke around all the time unless they disturb other students the way Sam does. Sam is super disruptive and makes other students uncomfortable to say the least. I tried telling my boss and co-workers about this but they basically told me I'm on my own. Not even a call to his parents was made. Recently, I rearranged the seating so that Sam sat far away from the other boys as he does not do the same to the girls. This worked for a couple of weeks. He spent most of the class complaining in a mumbled voice but he didn't touch anyone. But I guess he got bored of complaining because today, he spent most of class hurling insults at me in Japanese. The class is mostly second English learning Japanese kids and since I'm hired as a foreign teacher, I am strictly forbidden from speaking to the kids in Japanese. Anyways, when Sam starts calling me disgusting, a stupid old lady etc, I admit I got a little upset because I know for a fact he would not speak the same way to the Japanese staff and I knew telling him to stop would only make him want to do it more because I have tried multiple times in the past. So instead, in a loud voice I said what did you say? Disgusting? What does that mean? Cute? You think I'm cute? Thank you the other kids laughed a little and Sam got angry but he kept trying to insult me throughout the class. I kept doing the same thing, pretending to think his insults were compliments. In the end, he got so frustrated he burst into tears. At the end of class, my co-workers saw that he was crying and I explained what happened. I got chastised for making a student cry. Ita? Not the asshole. You weren't mean, you turned his rudeness into a light-hearted joke. It's not like you called him names back or anything like that. He only cried due to failing to look cool with his insults not landing, not from anything you did or said to him. Natar. Making a child cry is based and I try to do it daily. Not the asshole. I thought Japanese people were hell-bent on discipline and politeness. Sam is a child so I won't call him an a-hole but the school management should at least try to contact his parents about his behavior. Not the asshole he is old enough to know when you joke around it might backfire. But your boss and co-rokers are. Not the asshole, whatever is going on with this kid is outside of your power to fix it. Best you can do for him is not encourage him by playing into his toxic coping mechanisms. Not the asshole. They left you on your own, you handled it. Being negative all out is not always the way to handle a disruptive child. Kudos on you for an inventive way to discipline. Not the asshole. He needed to be taken down a peg or two, honestly. Not the asshole I think you handled things well doesn't sound like the staff will be supportive though, so be prepared. How can you be the R? You did nothing wrong. You handled the unruly kid perfectly. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Karma came for Sam. What matters here is what does your boss think? Not the asshole and a little funny. My go to at one point was to ask the kids if they love their mom and dad. When they say yes, then ask them why are you wasting your parents' money then? Not the asshole. Seems like you handled it well. So what if he cried? He's a little asshole that needs to learn. Better to learn as a kid than come out an asshole adult. Not the asshole amazing. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The only part of the story that bothers me is that he was too rowdy around the boys, so I put him with the girls instead. They didn't ask for that. Don't make the girls share misery when they're behaving because it makes your job easier. The kid cried from frustration, not sadness. You didn't make him feel sad, nor did you say anything hurtful to him. 
your co-worker needs to understand that not all tears are the same. I think you handled it well. Not the asshole. Info where's your JT homeroom teachers during this? Because if you're an alt like I'm assuming, you're not meant to be alone in a classroom, they're supposed to handle discipline. You're playing by Japan rules, I'd get non-English speakers to weigh in. Why would you be forbidden from speaking Japanese? Not the asshole. This kid has severe emotional issues that the school is refusing to address. The school administrators are TAs for not addressing this kid's needs. You are a good teacher. Not the asshole you asserted control of the situation by slapping down his insults and remarks. You also demonstrated use of conversational English to your students. He ran himself right into his own humiliation and frustration. Not the asshole. You didn't make him cry. He made himself cry. How do you get a bachelor's degree at age 20? Congratulations OP you made a child cry and told the world about it yes you're the asshole instead of bullying the child try a parent teacher conference. Crying in my room because of this tweet is the best. Maybe to, did you ask the kid why he is acting out? Or research on your own to find the causes of his unruly behavior? Soft you're the asshole making a kid cry is not the best way to handle it and certainly not the way you handle things in Japan. You need respect the way things are done over there and do better. A 63W Should have given the kid a tight slap instead or given his some physical punishment. Um, you're the asshole. If you can't settle a classroom dispute without making the child cry, you're not a good teacher. Not the asshole Sam is incredibly pathetic, he got what he asked for, person shrugging. Not the asshole. You did nothing wrong. Not the asshole you handled it beautifully. I hope you fully reported his unacceptable behavior. Not the asshole, but can I ask why you can't speak Japanese to the class for being foreign? Curious about that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole that is stupid. Not the asshole. Well handled. He should get assessment for ADHD and you are not the asshole. Lamau you handled this in a perfect way, I was expecting way worse. Absolutely not ah, just explain the situation if it becomes a problem amongst other staff and they'll most likely have a laugh about it and move on. Sounds to me like nobody was offering you any other option. I would take him out in the hall and have that conversation with him in Japanese. Not the asshole, he was trying to make you cry.